morning guys welcome to this week's what i eat in a day i'm starting this video off a little bit different i'm actually walking to the gym this morning because I got some work done to my tattoo and I am not cleared until a little bit later this week to start intensely sweating. Now I do get a little bit sweaty on my walk, but I'm talking like the elliptical, the Stairmaster sweaty. I have to wait until a little bit later in the week to do those exercises. So I'm walking to the gym today for my cardio and then we are going to do upper body pull day. I have a brand new workout routine. It is amped up. It is harder. Supposedly, this is what my fitness coach is telling me that I'm starting today with upper body pull day. Then we're going to walk home. We have a really, really busy day today. Tori is, as, as always, heading out to go golfing. I have coaching calls. I have editing to do, things to do around the house. We have a busy day today. So if you're excited for another What I Eat in a Day, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here. We do a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday, and I upload five videos per week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, as well as links and discounts to my favorite things. And come over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's go to the gym. Let's get this crazy, intense workout done and get home and start our day. Won't you sing out your frustration? Say a word Keep on staring At the pavement God knows who hurt so here is today's outfit of the day. I will tell you guys about everything that I'm wearing all the way down to these amazing shoes. I shared this brand of shoes, Vivia, with you guys in a previous video and I love them. I actually have two more pairs that I've added to my collection. This little tube top type of romper is actually from Amazon. Super, super affordable. It is short. It does have a little tie here at the waist. It is super, super cute. Now the shorts are short, but also keep in mind that I am 5'8". So if you're shorter than me, you these would definitely be longer on you. I'm actually fairly tall. I love that it is a romper style with the tube top. Perfect to finish out summer. I do have a new stick on bra that I've been testing out for the last few weeks and I'm really, really, really liking these little stick on bras. They are perfect for outfits like these that are more the tube top style. So you don't want your bra strap and things showing. So I'll tell you guys about these stick on bras. I've worn them now about a half a dozen times and I really, really love them. I'll tell you guys about my shoes. My cute little necklace, the evil eye is from Shein. It was a dollar a dollar, and then these earrings I've had forever. But I'll link the Shein necklace down below too. But isn't this jumper just absolutely adorable? I am loving it, and this bra, complete, complete game changer with this jumper. I don't know what I would have worn with this jumper to keep the girls up because, like I've mentioned before, as we lose weight, there's things on our body that get better, and there's things on our body that don't get better. And for me, my boobs have definitely gotten smaller, but they're not where they used to be and they're not as firm as they used to be. So these little stick on bras are perfect. I wear a lot of tank tops. I wear a lot of really skinny spaghetti strap dresses. I love these little rompers that are more of the tube top style and the bra comes in really, really handy for that as well. So I wanna share with you guys a little bit more about the stick on bra that I'm using. I've always been hesitant about stick on bras. I am rather large chested and on top of that, like I said, the girls, they're just not where the girls used to be. They're not as firm and as perky with the age as well as weight loss. So I've always been really leery of stick on products just because I didn't think that they would give me the support that I needed. But I'm really, really loving the Nador stick on bras. I actually ordered three different ones and I thought that I would share them with you and kind of explain how you use these and how beneficial they are for tank tops, halter tops, or just 
times where you don't want bra straps showing and honestly you could wear them every day. They could even be your go-to bra. I also really love that they are a backless bra because I've shared before that I carry a lot of extra weight in my back which is one of my problem areas. So I really like that there is nothing pushing the fat on my back or enhancing any of the extra fat on my back. So I really appreciate that. So all of the bras come in these little reusable bags. I am storing my bras in these bags because I find it to be really convenient, especially for travel or for storage. All of the bras actually come with the little nipple covers as well. If you want to use those, if you have, if that's an issue for you or if you want to use them. So one of the bras that I picked up is the lace push-up adhesive bra. $31.99 before any discounts, which is an excellent price. It comes in both black and white in sizes A through E. So all of the bras that I purchased are in a D cup. I actually could have even sized up to the E cup, but they do have a size guide on their website. So I recommend checking that out and following that when you're purchasing the bras. I really liked the more elegant lace detail of these. I like that they have the clip in the middle that you can use or not use. You could simply just use the molded stick on cups. You don't have to use the clip in the middle. For me, I like it. I think it kind of helps push everything up a little bit more and hold them into place. All of them come with plastic on the back, which is reusable. So once you finish wearing the bra, you'll clean the bra and then you'll reapply the plastic. That way the sticky will last. I also wanted to pick one up in nude and this is the breathable strapless backless fabric sticky bra. This one is $33.99. Comes in beige and black or you can get both colors in a little duo for a better deal. $48.99 for two if you decide to get the black and the beige together. Sizes A through F, so even larger cup sizes. I liked this one because it does have the holes in it that allows the breathability. And again, it has the clip in the middle that you could use or not use. And again, the plastic to protect the stickiness of the bra. This one I decided to get nude, just if I wore anything of lighter color that I didn't want the black to show through. And actually the one that I'm wearing today and the one that I've been really loving is the fabric adhesive bra with front closure. It is $32.99. It comes in black and beige or nude and it sizes A through F. I really like this one. I feel like it gives a lot of push up. It's very comfortable. Honestly, it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing a bra. That's actually the case with all three of the bras. They really don't feel like you're wearing one. And again, I appreciate that they are backless, but yet supportive. So I've been loving these. These are coming with me on my trips that I have planned, especially to Hawaii where I'll be wearing a lot of strapless or skinny strapped dresses. These bras will come in extremely, extremely handy. The quality is fantastic. I will go ahead and pop here on the screen how to use the bra and care for the bra. And all of this information is also on their website. You can also find your bra size as well as again, how to wear the bra and how to clean the bra. All of the information you need, all of your questions, will be answered on their website. I will go ahead and link Nador down below for you with a discount. I'll link all three of the bras that I selected. So if you're interested in just picking up the ones that I have grown to love that are my tried and trues, I'll make sure those are linked down below for you as well. So I'm going to put together my breakfast. We'll eat breakfast. I have a coaching call this morning at 9 a.m. It is currently 8.35. And then I have a coaching call at 10 a.m. and at 3 p.m. So I have a busy day of coaching calls, but I also have have some really exciting food that I want to share with you. Some new things I've been testing out and loving some new recipes, a new lunch, and then we have a really, really good dinner recipe. So it's a full day of goodness, but we're going to first start with some breakfast. So this morning before I went to the gym and when I got home while I got ready for the day, I had my profi. Basically what that is, is four shots of espresso and a protein shake. Today I did, let me show you. Today I used the muscle milk vanilla cream zero sugar. I bought these on Amazon and they're really, really good. I'll link these for you. So I already had that this morning, and but now I'm getting hungry for some breakfast, but I want a little bit lighter breakfast because this is a big chunk of my calories, my points, my protein for the day in my protein shake. So for breakfast, we're going to keep it simple also because I have 20 minutes to eat. So we're gonna do the Siggy's vanilla yogurt. It has 16 grams of protein, nice clean ingredients, 110 10 calories and then I just have some regular cinnamon granola from Nutstop that I picked up from them. I'm going to put about five grams, not very much, just enough to add a little bit of crunch to my yogurt. So that's going to be my breakfast, AKA morning snack. Like I mentioned, I have a new lunch that I want to share with you guys and it's a 
it's a heartier lunch. So I want to make sure that I'm hungry enough to finish that when lunch rolls around. And then because I had such an intense workout while I'm eating my yogurt, I'll let you guys know about my workout. It's new and it's crazy, so I'll tell you about that. But I definitely need my post-workout BCAAs. As always, I'm using the 6 a.m. run finish line in watermelon. This is just a great way to help with muscle recovery. It has some BCAAs in it. It helps with inflammation, muscle soreness, and like I always say, totally works. For me, this is a must after a hard workout. breakfast is served my Siggy's yogurt with granola I love this yogurt and then I have my 6 a.m. run BCAAs I just add a little bit of ice shake them up in my lululemon water bottle you know I love my water bottle and I'll be sipping on that that'll help me get in what I think this is 32 ounces of water plus my BCAAs. I try to get in all of my BCAAs and this water usually during my coaching call and within like 15, 20 minutes after that. But really quickly while I eat my yogurt, I'll actually talk more in depth about this in Friday's weigh-in, but I'm starting the second phase of strength training because I'm entering into week 10 with my coach. You know, I'm going to the gym four days a week. I have structured cardio three days a week, two upper body and two lower body days, but the exercises are more intense. There's more reps. So I was at the gym today just to lift weights, just the lifting weight portion for almost an hour, not to mention the 45-ish minute walk to and from the gym. So this new program is way more intense and way more time consuming. So I'm going to have to rethink what days of the week I go to the gym because it is taking up so much more time to get to the gym now and do my whole workout. She did warn me, my coach, that this particular workout regimen is longer. So to anticipate being at the gym longer, but wow, it was definitely longer. My body's tired. I need my BCAAs. I need them. So again, I'll link my 6 a.m. run, my Lululemon bottle down in the description box for you. I'm going to finish my yogurt and hop on my coaching call. So I wanna share with you guys a little bit more about the shoes. I showed you my outfit of the day, which included these beauties, but I actually got two more pairs of shoes from the brand Vivia. I love this brand. I shared two other pairs of shoes with you guys in a couple weeks ago is what I eat in a day, and I told you they were the most comfortable shoes ever. That stands true. I've worn them time and time again. I got a cute pair of mules, really cute shoes, but I decided to go ahead and pick up a pair of boots because we are moving into fall slash winter here in Arizona. And then of course, the chunky little heel that I'm wearing today, which I'll show you as well. So these are the boots that I picked up and I think these are so adorable. They're kind of a sweater material. They're pointed toe, which I appreciate. These are actually called the pointed toe stripe heeled boots. They come in both black and brown and multiple, multiple size options. Pointed toe ankle boots promote the confidence to conquer any day. These fit snugly, but they're really easy to go on because they're stretchy. I love the chunky square heel and the soft insole to enhance the comfort and warmth. They're perfect for shopping, for work, for a date night. I love that they are ankle boots. They are seriously so comfortable. I don't know how the Vivia shoes are as comfortable as they are, but they are so comfortable. They're so soft to the touch. I just love the style of these. I love the color. Again, they do come in this brown color and they also come in black as well. I decided to get the brown color because I have a million pairs of black boots, but now I kind of want the black as well because they're one of the most comfortable boots I have ever put on my feet. These are so comfortable. Look at the stretch right here. So they're really, really easy to get on. I love the pointed toe. They look so cute. And let me just tell you how incredibly comfortable these are. I mean, they feel like sweaters for your feet. Super, super comfortable. I love, again, how stretchy the material is. How adorable would these be with jeans or even a cute little dress for the cooler months? 
Ooh, I know I'm going to be wearing these a ton come fall and winter. And then the shoes that I'm wearing today are these super fun chunky square toed little heels. These are the square toe slide heels. These come in six different colors. Denim blue, a cream colored black, which is what I have, navy, turquoise, almond and a fun lavender color. The square toed sandals are made from skin friendly yarn uppers and ultra soft and comfortable insoles so you'll feel like you're stepping on clouds. That is true. They're the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. The architectural heel is perfect for summer outings or to wear to work. I love all the detailed texture on the shoe. It gives it a more elegant look and again it comes in so many different colors that you could get a pair for all of your summer outfits. I love the square heel. I love the square toe. Square toe is super in right now. And I just like how fancy and elegant and high quality these shoes look. She, all of the shoes look high quality. They feel high quality. And 10 out of 10 for all four pairs that I have. Every pair is extremely, extremely comfortable. And these two pairs, no exception. I just can't rave about these shoes enough. I mean, they are so incredibly comfortable. My other two pair of Avia shoes are amazing as well. Seriously, you guys, if you want comfortable, cute shoes, then definitely check these out. This is my fourth pair. And like I said, I feel like I'm wearing slippers. Same with the boots. These definitely give me slipper vibes. So comfortable. I love the square toe. I love the square heel. These are going to be perfect for when I go to Hawaii and California. For me, comfortable shoes is a must. And these are some of the most comfortable shoes. They're a sustainable company. They're eco-friendly. All of their packaging is recyclable and they use products that don't harm the environment. So I appreciate that they are eco-friendly as well. So like last time, I will make sure that I link Vavea down below for you with a discount code. Highly recommend the chunky heel. Highly recommend the boots. The mules that I purchased, the loafers, all of their shoes are the best quality and the most comfortable shoe I've ever put on my feet. Let's make lunch. I am hungry, hungry, hungry. In my grocery haul this last Saturday, I let you guys know that I've been testing out a new sandwich concoction. I've actually eaten it almost every day since then because it is so incredibly good. It's nothing revolutionary, but it's the way that it's combined and paired together. It's just so, so good and satisfying. And this lunch is full of protein, super well-rounded. So I wanna share with you guys the sandwich that I've been loving and how to put it together and like I said, I've been eating it almost every day since grocery shopping. All right, so you're going to need a bagel thin. Now you could use a real, you could use a solid full sized bagel if you want, but I really like the bagel thin because I toast it and it gets nice and crispy. These are the plain. You could also use the everything, really any bagel thin, but the plain for me is the perfect pairing for this sandwich. And then whatever lunch meat you wanna use, I buy the one from Sam's Club. This is actually the smoked turkey. There's no nitrites, no nitrate. And for some reason, this lunch meat has substantially more protein than other lunch meats. So I always buy it at Sam's Club. And this is kind of the gem of my sandwich. This is the Philadelphia whipped garlic and herb cream cheese. Now you can use any cream cheese that you want. Highly recommend the whipped though because it just spreads really good on this sandwich. I think the chive one would also be delicious but the garlic and herb is phenomenal. And then I always add a piece of lettuce for some extra greens. I'm going to have a bag of Quest Ranch tortilla chips. This is going to give me that crunch factor but also some more protein. And then you already know I'm obsessed with the mini cucumber so I'm going to have some of those as well. So let's make the sandwich. I'll show you exactly how to make it. It's so good. So the first thing I'm going to do is toast my bagel. I really, really like my bagel toasted for this. I have three of the thin bagels left, so that's proof that this sandwich has been a go-to. While my bagel is toasting, I'm actually going to weigh out my meat. I want between two and three ounces. I usually do about three slices. That seems to be the perfect amount for the bagel. So that is 2.5 ounces, that is perfect. I like to throw my turkey in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds just to warm it up a little bit. And then once my bagel is nice and toasted, I'm going to weigh out 22 grams or two tablespoons of the Philadelphia cream cheese. And I like to spread a little bit on each side of my bagel, so about 11 grams. That's 10 grams right there. 
So you actually get a decent amount of the cream cheese for the points and the calories. It's actually only 50 calories for the two tablespoons. And then I add my lettuce my turkey look at how good that looks the cream cheese i'm telling you just makes this sandwich so incredibly good we'll add my bag of chips here's my lunch doesn't this look incredible i'm telling you you need to try this sandwich the key to this is to toast your bagel and warm your meat up it is so good and decadent you will feel like this is a splurge sandwich it is that good so i'm going to have that my quest protein chips in ranch that's going to give me 19 more grams of 19 additional grams of protein and then my favorite little crunch to my lunch is some cucumbers i get excited about this every day <laughs> mm. it is so good really really good i love the crunch that the lettuce gives it and the cream cheese is the shining star. I mean, you can taste that creaminess, that garlic, the herb. So it's your condiment on your sandwich and it's just a little spin on traditional mayo or mustard that you put on your sandwich and it just adds such a good flavor. All right, let's get our treats. Oh, do you guys want treats? Mama finished lunch, let's get treats. Diesel, Mama, come here, come here. You sit, good boy. Come here, Maggie, you sit. Sit. Good girl. Come here, bud. Lisa, come here. Can you sit? Oh, good job, everyone. Look what is here. Palmer slash the other dog's bark box. This is the bark box for the month of August. And our theme is bark box playcation in Italy. Everything about this box is so cute. It's all completely themed. You get a little card every month that talks about what's in your box and shows you all of the little babies that you could have gotten in your box. You, we get two per month, which is awesome. Everything is just super, super cute. So here's a little sneak peek in the box. So here's the first baby. This is so stinking cute. This is the Buana Squirrelhala, Squirella. This is so cute. It's a squirrel with a helmet. I mean, we, can we just talk about it? And then we have a little pizza, and it is the mozzarella pizza. This is so cute too. And then you always get two bags of treats. So we have the Wakey Loops bacon and cheese and the Jacko Loops with pumpkin and cinnamon. My dogs really like treats with pumpkin plus pumpkin is really good for their digestive system. And then we got the same stick. This is I think the third month in a row, which is fine. My dogs like this. This is the pumpkin and honey stick. So all of that comes in the monthly bark box. We're gonna give Palmer one of the babies. If you're interested in bark box, I'll link it down below for you. I believe you get a free month or half off your first box. I'll put all the information down below for you. Do you see? Oh, you see what mommy has. Okay, dad, should we give him the squirrel or the pizza? Pizza. Pizza, all right. Pumpkin, you want a pizza? Oh, hang on, we gotta take a tag off. We gotta take a tag off, just a minute, cause you will eat all the little plastic pieces. Does it squeak? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, here it goes. Hang on. Do we got the zoomies? Yeah, we got the zoomies. Palmer, Palmer, can you show us your pizza? Pumpkin, can we see your pizza? Oh, oh, yeah. Palmer got a pizza. Lola, get the pizza from Palmer. Lola, right here. Get it. Oh, you guys, look at the new toys. Yay. So I'm going to break up the pumpkin stick that came in the bark box. Littlest piece goes to the littlest dog. Here you go, bud. And here you go, Nug. Yeah, good job. Oh, Palmer abandoned the pizza. He'll be back. It's been about an hour and a half since I ate lunch and I need to get in my second jug of water for the day. My goal is to drink four of these a day and it's already afternoon here, so I need to get the second one in. So what I'm gonna do is make some protein water. This is really my favorite way to not only get in water, but get in protein. This is from the brand Must Fit. It's the Clearly Superior. I have the cherry lemonade. I've shared this a ton. It was actually in my favorites for July. If you haven't seen July favorites, I'll link it down below for you. But 
but I love this one because it dissolves really, really, really easily and it tastes really good. It is 80 calories for one scoop and gives you 20 grams of protein. So I use this a lot in my water bottle as a protein supplement, but again, also a way to get in more water. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up some protein water that I can sip on while I get ready for my next coaching call. So I just shake it up. I did add a little bit of ice. So I mix it up really well. You can either put it in the bottle and shake it up. And what's great about this protein water enhancer is it actually blends up really easily, which is shaking it. You can also use a little handheld frother, whatever you want. Then I add some ice to it and I'm telling you it's really good. It tastes like lemonade, cherry lemonade. There's zero protein taste. There's zero chunkiness, milkiness of protein. It's so good and a great way to get in water and protein. I'll link it down below for you. I just buy it off Amazon. Look at what just came in the mail. I shared these on my Facebook group. These are the brand new packets from American Dream Nut Butter. They have put their nut butters, which we know are the best nut butters ever, in these little individual packets. So I have just a few of the almond butters here. I have just plain nutty, which is plain almond butter. I actually get asked that question a lot. Do they just carry regular almond butter, regular peanut butter? Yes, so that is what that is. French toast, which is amazing. And then I also love cinnamon toasties. There are almond butters, peanut butters, cashew butters, all in these little individual serving packages. So each package is one serving, which is two tablespoons. And of course the calories, their points are going to vary depending on the flavor, but most of the American Dream Nut Butters, whether it's almond butter, peanut butter, cashew butter, they're all about four to five points for two tablespoons, so less than like Jif peanut butter, and they are anywhere from about 140 to about 160 calories for two tablespoons. These are great for your lunch, your kiddos' lunches, on the go. I actually plan on keeping one of these in my purse for those times when I just need a snack. I mean, you open it, you can squeeze it into your mouth, and you have a snack of protein and healthy fats. You can also use these to help you not overeat because the American Dream Nut Butter is that good. It's pretty simple to overeat, so you can just use one of these packets as your two tablespoon serving. I'm really, really excited about these. Now, a lot of the flavors have sold out. They're in the process of restocking them, but I will link American Dream Nut Butter down below with 10% off. You can use it for their full-size jars or the little packets, but this is genius and such a great way to watch your portions and take your favorite American Dream Nut Butter on the go. For dinner tonight, I'm making air fryer loaded chicken and potatoes. If you don't have an air fryer, you could also make this in your oven or on your stove top, but let me show you what in dinner. So you're going to need some chicken breast, some bacon bits, some potatoes. You could use the little potatoes. I have these organic ones that I need to use up, so we're going to just dice those into baby potato size. You'll need some green onions, a small onion, some light shredded cheese, salt and pepper, and garlic powder. As always, I'll link my really cool gravity-fed salt and pepper grinders down below for you. They came from Amazon, super, super affordable. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So I'm going to wash and cut up the potatoes, slice up the green onions, the onion, and then for my chicken breast, I like to slice them in half long ways so that they're more like a thin chicken breast. They take less time to cook and it's a better size of a portion for me. So I'm going to slice up the chicken as well. So I went ahead and chopped up the potatoes, the onions, and then I sliced the chicken breast in half, making them thin sliced. I also chopped up our green onions. We're going to set those aside. Now we're going to add garlic powder, salt, and pepper to the bag. And then we are going to close it up and move everything around with our hands. Make sure that the potatoes, the onions, the chicken, it all gets coated in the garlic powder, salt, and pepper. So my air fryer is warmed up. I actually just warmed it up on 400 for five minutes. So I'm going to spray my basket with some non-stick cooking spray. And then we're adding in the chicken, the onions, and the potatoes. 
We're putting it in the air fryer at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes or until the chicken's cooked through, the potatoes are cooked through, you are going to want to open it up and shake it up throughout the process. One hour later. So the chicken and the potatoes are done. So now we're going to doctor them up and throw them back in the air fryer for just a couple more minutes. So we're going to add about one and a half cups of light shredded cheese right on top. And then half of a cup of bacon bits. And then go ahead and put it back in the air fryer for just a couple more minutes to get the cheese nice and melted. All right, we are good to go. Look at how amazing that looks. I'm going to go ahead and plate it up. The entire recipe makes only four servings. For us, this is more like six servings, but I'll give you the points, calories, for four servings, and then of course you can modify that for more or less servings for your family. But let me divide out the potatoes, the chicken, I'll plate it up, we'll top it with some green onions, some sour cream, and I'll be back to share points and calories. All right, so here is dinner. Like I said, we're gonna get at least six servings out of this, maybe more. I just weighed out my potatoes and my chicken, topped it with one tablespoon of the Daisy light sour cream and some green onions. I'm gonna add a little bit of spray butter, I think, to my potatoes and I'll put points, calories here on the screen. So I'm really excited for tonight's dinner. We're gonna make homemade ice cream using the Hamey ice cream maker. This is an affordable app home ice cream maker. And what's great about the Hamey ice cream maker is you do not have to freeze your ice cream base ahead of time. You put everything in the machine as is and out comes amazing, creamy, delicious ice cream. You get to control the ingredients. You get to control the points, the calories, the macros, the sugar, everything in the ice cream. It is small, it is compact, it's great if you live in a small space or you don't have a lot of cupboard space for kitchen appliances. Some of the other ice cream makers out on the market are a lot larger and take up more space and have a certain protocol to make ice cream. This one, you literally dump it all in. It has an automate, automatic freezing system in the ice cream maker and out pops perfect, perfect ice cream. With the ice cream maker itself, it does come with a little recipe book. So I've been kind of peeking through here. There's a ton of different options and it's hot today. So I feel like I want to make a sorbet, something that isn't super creamy, but something that's a little bit more light and fresh. And there is a citrus fruit sorbet in here. And there's a banana yogurt ice cream, which also sounds really good because you use any type of natural yogurt. So you could use 0% Greek yogurt and that's going to give you some added protein. It does require whipping cream, which I don't have. So I might not be able to make that one. I think what I'm going to do is make a citrus fruit sorbet. Literally all you need is water, sugar or sugar alternative and fruit. So it's really, really simple. You get that nice refreshing sorbet. I have some fresh lemons in my fruit basket over there that I need to use up. So I'm going to make a lemon sorbet for Troy and I for dessert. I'm going to show you how incredibly it easy, how incredibly easy it is to use this ice cream maker. And again, it is perfect if you are limited on space or you want a more affordable ice cream maker for home. It also comes with everything you need to make ice cream. Obviously the ice cream maker, you get the measuring cup for liquid. You even get an ice cream scoop. How fun is that? Measuring spoons that you can just keep with your ice cream maker rather than having to find the ones in your kitchen and a spatula to scoop out all of the goodness. So I have my recipe here for the citrus fruit sorbet. I have 200 milliliters of water. It calls for 85 grams of sugar, which is just under seven tablespoons. So what I'm going to do is use Lakanto monk fruit granulated. I will link Lakanto down below for you. It is one of my all time favorite sugar alternatives. To me, it tastes the closest to real sugar. So there is about six and three quarter tablespoons of sugar. I'm going to use my little handy dandy spatula that came with it, mix that up a little bit, and then you can use whatever fruit you want. But again, I'm going to use lemons. I'm going to do two full lemons. I'm going to squeeze all of the juice. It smells so fresh and lemony. So I'm just mixing that sugar up a little bit with the lemon juice and the water. 
It says that you can heat it on the stove top to melt the sugar into the water, but I'm just going to throw this in the microwave for just a couple of minutes. We just wanna make sure the sugar is dissolved. All of the sugar is dissolved, so the water is definitely a lot thicker. It smells so yummy and lemony. We need to put this in the fridge for about two hours before we make our sorbet. Three hours later. We are ready to make sorbet. So I did plug it in the Hamey ice cream maker in. You can see the power is on. You have the option for hard ice cream or soft ice cream. With sorbets, we want it to be soft ice cream. If you are making one that uses heavy whipping cream, you would want it to be a little bit more hard based ice cream, kind of like what you'd get in an ice cream shop. It is so incredibly easy to use. Go ahead and pull off the lid. You can see the piece to churn the ice cream is attached to the lid. It does come off for cleaning. If you press the button on the top, it actually releases all of the pieces. That way you're able to clean it as well. Super simple to put back together. This is where the magic happens. Put in the ice cream maker portion. There is a max fill line. You never want to fill it past that fill line. So we're going to go ahead and add in our lemon sorbet mixture. And that actually brought it to the max line. So that's about as much liquid as you're going to be able to put in. Add your lid back on. You want to make sure that it is locked into place where the lid does not move. There are two metal pins here. You're just going to line this white part of the lid up with the two metal pins. If it is not lined up and the magnetic switches are not engaged, the ice cream maker will not work. So make sure that those are lined up here. I'll actually show you those. So there are the two metal pins when you put your lid on. You're just going to twist it till those let metal pins engage. And then for me, once again, I want soft ice cream. I'm going to hit the soft button. It is much more quiet than other ice cream makers on the market. Depending on the quantity and the type of ingredients used in your ice cream base and its temperature coming out of the refrigerator, how cold it is, the colder it is, the less time it will take to turn into ice cream. This process can take anywhere from about 45 minutes to 120 minutes. So this one definitely definitely takes longer to make the finished ice cream than some of the other ice cream makers on the market, but it's quiet and it is simple and there's no freezing ahead of time required. So I'm going to let this churn away and I'll be back when it is finished and I'll let you know how long it took to make our lemon sorbet. Oh my gosh, look. What? That is so, oh my God, that is so delicious. I, I have no words. This whole bowl of sorbet, zero points. Zero. The texture, the consistency, the flavor, it is so lemony, sweet like sorbet should be. In fact, you could probably even lower the amount of Lakanto you put in here. It is so good. Wow. Zero point dessert. Refreshing light on a summer day. You could throw this in the freezer, take it out for just a few minutes before eating. I'm impressed with this Hamey ice cream maker. I cannot believe how delicious this tastes. All, re all ingredients I could control. I could put exactly what I wanted in here. And again, we have a zero point dessert that's incredibly delicious, like Baskin and Robin delicious sorbet. So cleanup is really easy. We're just going to wipe this out, clean up this piece of the hammy ice cream maker. We have a whole bowl of sorbet. It took about 45 minutes, but it was literally a set it and forget it. So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of my good food, lots of new products. I'm in love with the squeeze packs from American Dream Nut Butter. We had a lot of good stuff in today's video. As always, I'll link everything I shared with you today down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, 
And of course my Facebook group, come on over, follow, join our Facebook group, we would love to have you. Also, on a side note, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll pop it up right here for you. Definitely come on over and follow me there because I post every day. Lots and lots of stories, lots of motivational posts, before and after pictures. I get asked a lot about before and after pictures. I share a lot of them on my Instagram. So come on over, follow me there as well. So again, happy Wednesday, friends, and I'll see you all in Friday's weigh-in.